what makes a good project in your eyes? Well, I'd have to say, you know, if, if, if I read it and the concept jumps out at me, you know, immediately, I'm, I'm, like Phil said, I mean, I'm a sucker for a great story, and that's what, it, that's what every project comes down to. Um, if there's something that's, that's unique, if there's something that's told well, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm interested in. And obviously, I have a multitude of different genre specifics that I'm, I naturally gravitate towards, like sci-fi or like horror. But um, but it starts with the story, and that's why that's how I, I think, you know, movies like The Shawshank Redemption and Terminator Two can exist coexist in my own canon of film work, you know, uh, because they're both they both do uh, things for me that sort of pull it off the page. And I think I think a unique element to it is okay. something that that draws me more than anything else too. Something something that I haven't seen before. Right. So what if somebody proposed somebody brings you a script? What are you looking for in a script? Well, when we, uh, kind of in the, the, the bulk of what we were doing at Fearmakers when we were making scripts, or making uh, projects, we were um, looking for scripts that were diverse, um, that had some sort of market appeal. Uh, we, we picked a slate of, of uh, scripts that we thought would, would go out there and do really well, and actually and purchased three scripts from different writers. Uh, one of those was uh, would turn out to be Savage, that ended up playing on Chiller. Um, that was just uh, one of those things where we were looking for three different types of movies and we wanted to, to see if we could market them. One was a supernatural thriller that we never made. One was sort of a, um, sort of the, the teen slasher kind of movie that we never made. And then the last one was a creature feature, which we did make. So, um, you know, it, it, you, you really never know what's going to hit and you always think you do, but yeah, you just, you, you get a story that sort of you, you kind of fall in love with and say, hey, I, I like this idea and I think we can make a really good movie out of it. So. Phil, what you know, somebody, somebody's, you know, Wars of War comes across your desk. What, what? Wars of War comes across my desk now? No, no. Well, or something um, like that. What do you, what, you know, when, what are you looking for, and what, how do you like react to things? Well, it's changed over the years for mm -hmm. me. Um, when I started out, I was very interested in high concept um, projects uh, that were fun, but also commercially viable. Um, and over time, you know, I taught screenwriting for a long time, as you know, at Ohio State. Yes, I've and I did that. the math, and I've read something like thirty thousand pages of screenplays over the last, over that like four-year period. So, I think that, combined with my getting older and changing sensibilities, have led me to a point where it's all about the quality of the script. If it's a great concept, but the script is subpar. There's no attraction for me. The concept could be off, could be a great idea, but it, you know it's one of those things where if you get something like that, like it needs rewritten. And I've worked on like I don't know twenty some features, and you know what it's like. You're working on these features where the scripts are, you know, the concept is there, and that's what they're trying to sell, but the script is unnecessarily dumb. You know? Yeah. Yes. You spend all this money to make these films, mm -hmm. um, large and small. There's no reason the scripts have to be bad, but a lot of times they are. So I've kind of veered more toward um, toward looking at scripts where it's just it's it's a good story told well, and it, whatever the genre. And this is what I, I work when I teach my students. It's like it's a combination of two things. So it's a formula. Yeah. Two elements: convention, the thing that we're looking to see when we go see science fiction or drama or whatever but invention, something new. If it's a familiar story, it's told in a new way. Okay. So it's, it's sort of that invention and quality, kind of echoing what these guys have said, yeah. um, is what it boils down to for me. 